What is up, Top Club members? It's your boy Johnny, and today what I got for you guys is an in depth ultimate guide on how to control your recoil in Apex Legends Season 10. I'm going to be going through each and every single weapon category, bar from the snipers and the shotguns, and obviously, like the snipers, like in the care packages, like the Kraber, for example. These are just single shot weapons, and obviously, they don't really require too much work when it comes to recoil and stuff. It's more just like a spray and pray, and obviously, making sure that you're aiming down the sights. Guys, if you want to see more content, content like this as well in season 10 then be sure to obviously let me know in the comment section down below and while you're down there feel free to subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications and with that being said let's get right into it all right so we're going to kick start off with the light rounded weapons so we have the re45 the p2020 which we're not actually going to use because it's a single shot weapon the r301 carbine the r99 and the g7 again the g7 we're not going to work on so let's kick things off with the re45 so the re45 is obviously just a mini pistol a fully automatic mini pistol it doesn't really require too much when it comes to the recoil as well and also as well just before i get into it i am going to be identifying each and every single recoil pattern and basically how you can control it so pretty much to control it is to do the exact opposite as to what it actually shows so for example when i aim down the sights and fire like this as you can see it goes up and sways to the right so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be aiming down the sights pushing down as I fire on the right stick and then obviously moving to the left a little bit with the right stick as well. And as you can see, we've got a full round, almost a full round pretty much, going straight into the enemy. Obviously, be able to get the kill nice and easy. As you can see, it's more precise as well. Like, obviously, you know, we're aiming down the sights. It's almost like a laser aim. It's not swaying to this way or that way. It's more just central on the character or on the bot, actually. And you can easily get a kill. So that was the RE45. Let's move on now to the R301 Carbine, which is arguably one of the best light rounded weapons in Apex Legends so far. Maybe there might be some more coming down the line. Who knows, obviously. But obviously, let's have a look at the R301's recoil. So as you can see, it obviously goes up and then starts swaying to the right and a little bit to the left. So it's almost just like a question mark a little bit. So the best way to do this is obviously push down on the right hand stick and push a little bit to the left. And obviously, as you saw then, it did jolt to the left a little bit near the end. So near the end, you just want to make sure that you're pushing to the right. So it's like a one, two, three, four. And you want to push to the right guys in order to learn it properly i do recommend you at least put a full round or a full clip into an enemy like so about five or six times just to ensure that you know the recall pattern and obviously you know that you can finish off the enemy when you actually go in game with ease so let's move on to the r99 as you can see i did a brief little demonstration but i will just show the recall real quick the recoil is probably one of the most volatile recoils in Apex Legends for a light rounded weapon. As you can see, it literally fires all the way up straight to the top. So it's nice and simple to be honest. It does sway a little bit to the left at the end. So you just want to aim down and push to the right very, very slightly. As you can see, nice and simple. Nice little one rounded clip. Oh, I did miss a couple of shots though. And by the way, guys, it's completely fine to miss out on shots, especially when you're in the firing range. Because at the end of the day, this is a learning process. It's a big learning curve. And it's not obviously something that you're going to understand or something that you're obviously going to complete overnight. It's obviously going to be a long, hard process. And it easily takes about 20, 30 minutes every single day before you get into pubs or playing ranked to, in order to like get comfortable with it again. Okay, so with all the light rounded ammo on out of the way, let's move on to the heavy ammo. So obviously we've got the new introduction, which is the Rampage. Then we've obviously got the 30-30 repeater, which was introduced two seasons ago. But obviously this is a single rounded weapon, so we don't really need to do much. The Wingman, I could show a little bit of it because obviously there's a little bit of recoil, especially if you are rapid firing it. Uh, obviously we've got the Prayer as well, which has just come out of the care packages, is now Floor Loot. And then we've got the Hemlock Burst and the Flatline. So let's kick start it off with the Rampage. So the Rampage page obviously is the new addition and i'll be honest there isn't really much recall or much to explain about it like you can more than easily just tap it very gently on the lmg but as you can see obviously it does like to shoot up a little bit so to compensate this it's really really easy you just really got to just point down obviously when you're shooting so you just want to make sure you're pushing the right stick down missed my shots initially there god i'm really really trash <laughs> there we go as you can see literally 
nice and simple to be honest obviously if you want to hold it down and do rapid fire it's the same situation just push it down it did obviously start jolting a little bit more so it just means you've got to apply a little bit more pressure when aiming down sides and if it obviously looks like that your sights are moving downwards it means you're putting too much on so you want to just start just letting go very gently You'll basically know when you've got laser aim when it's literally just staying completely still. Like, obviously, you'll see that the weapon is moving and stuff, but the actual, like, reticle and stuff is actually staying completely still. It's not moving around like this, like, absolutely crazy, or it's moving down or moving up or moving around. Now, let's move on to the wingman. Uh, obviously, you know, it is a single-fire weapon, so you don't really need to do much with this one. Obviously, just make sure you are hitting your shots. It's obviously really easy to get a headshot on this weapon as well, obviously, depending on the skin. This is... Arguably what they say on reddit the pay to win skin because you don't have any of the like iron sights like interrupting So it is really easy to obviously hit your shots compared to the default skin I say that as soon as I uh, don't one clip an enemy <laughs> But yeah, literally the wingman is really really easy. It's obviously a single shot weapon so You want to make sure you're hitting your shots properly perfect timing all that good stuff now let's move on over to the Prowler. So obviously the Prowler's just been reintroduced back into Apex Legends Season 10 as Floor Loot, which arguably is one of the best heavy round weapons. Obviously seen as the M600 is, I think that one over there, it obviously is now Care Package Loot rather than Floor Loot. I think the Prowler's probably taking its position again and obviously is such an OG weapon as well. It's obviously going to get a nerf, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, it's absolutely insane. All you need to do is fire 15 bullets into them and you're practically sorted. So, yeah, the recoil on this isn't really that bad either. It's obviously just, it does shoot up a little bit, sway to the left at the end. So, obviously, when you do your first two shots, you want to just make sure that you're obviously pushing down. And when it comes to your first shot, when rapid firing, you just want to make sure that you are moving your stick to the right. And the hemlock, to be honest, is the exact same situation. So, let me just show you what the hemlock looks like. Pretty much... First weapons are really easy to control and recall. It's just simply just pushing down on the side. As you can see, it does like to push itself up because of obviously the recoil. So the way to do it is obviously just to push down a little bit. Just very, very gently. Because if you push down too much, obviously you're just going to start shooting the floor. It's not really worth it. Just do it very, very gently. And as you can see, you've got very, very laser-like firing. Then, let's move on over to the final one, which is the flatline in the heavy round category. So, this one has got the most recoil up easily. As you can see, it does like to sway side to side and stuff. So, it's obviously just the timing of it. So, if I show you real quick, obviously, it likes to push straight to the left. So, you want to make sure when you're aiming down the side, you want to push down and to the right. And as you can see, it does like to obviously just keep itself there a little bit. Obviously, if there is minor adjustments to be done, obviously that's completely fine because he does like to move around a little bit or like jolt very, very easily. But simply just pushing it down and moving it to the right very, very slightly obviously will allow you to get aim like that. Now, let's move on over to the final category, really, in the, like, SMG and fully automatic lot, and that is the energy ammo stuff, or the energy weapon. So, you've got the Vault, the Devotion, the Havoc, and the L-Star. So, the L-Star probably is the top one out of all four of them, and then I'll probably say the second one's probably the Vault, and then maybe the Devotion. It's really hard to actually choose between the Devotion or the Havoc, because, obviously, they are very, very good weapons, but their recall really does play a big key into it. So, I will go into that. But the first one I'm going to start off with is the L-Star. So the L-Star has an insane amount of recoil. So let me just show you real quick. It is an absolutely crazy weapon. Obviously, it has no, like, weapon magazine. It's more than just the chance of when it overheats. You can obviously one clip them if the person's standing completely still, but, but if they're just staying completely still, which is very, very unlikely, you're not going to be able to hit all your shots. So obviously you can see it does snake really, really easily over there. So you want to make sure that obviously you're pushing down all the way down on the right stick and to the left first. And obviously as you can see, it starts snaking. You just want to do the opposite of what it's doing. And look at that. It's so much better than what it was just. Now let's go back a little bit and let's choose the Havoc. So the Havoc is a good energy weapon, don't get me wrong. I really do think that it does need the turbocharger on it because obviously it's nice and easy. So I am going to show the recall on the turbocharger and without the turbocharger. So this is with the turbocharger. As you can see, very, very insane. It does like to snake near the end of it as well. And from the get-go, obviously it is shooting itself all the way up. So we know for a fact we've got to push all the way down. And then obviously we can see it starts swaying a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. So obviously we're just going to do the complete opposite of that. So we're going to start pushing down and pushing to the right. And look at that. See? Perfect aim. Pretty much laser aim right there. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Now, the Devotion LMG is pretty much the complete opposite. It obviously starts off really, really well with good accuracy. But then, as you can see, as soon as it starts charging up, especially with the turbocharger, it does get absolutely insane. So, you want to make sure you're just pushing down and you're pushing to the right because as you go saw right then, it does like to sway to the left. As soon as it reaches near the top, especially near the charge up time, as you can see, it sways really far to the left and then eventually to the right back into the center. So you want to make sure you're just pushing down and pushing to the right and just making sure that you stay in control of it. Nice and simple. Oh yeah, crap, I completely forgot. I was meant to show the, um, what's it called, without the turbocharger. So let me do that real quick with both the Devotion and the uh, Havoc. So let me just drop it real quick. So with the Havoc, obviously it's nice and easy. It's the same situation, obviously. It is a bit of a charge-up and a bit of a warm-up. But obviously when you're in a fight and stuff like that and you get into the game a little bit more, you know for a fact you've got to wait at least two seconds to make sure that it's fully charged up and you can start aiming down the sights. But yeah, it's the same situation, guys. Literally all you need to do, aim down the sight, push down a little bit and just obviously move it, obviously, where according. So you just want to make sure you aim down the sights, push it down, and as you can see, literally completely still. And it's the same for the Devotion as well. Obviously, there is no like boot up or like charge up or anything it's literally straight from the get go but it's the rate of fire that changes so as you can see the rate of fire increases dramatically when obviously it gets near to the end of the magazine or halfway through so you just want to make sure you're pushing down and as you can see really really straight look at that absolutely straight and there we go nice and easy and then the final one guys for the energy ammo is the Volt SMG which to be honest is just the complete opposite of the R99 obviously as you knew that the R99 obviously swayed to the uh, to the left and we had to push on the right whereas this one obviously sways to the right so we got to push to the left and obviously we got to push down so we push down and as you can see completely central almost a laser like look at that nice and simple I'll show you without any like adjustments as you can see it's very volatile shoot all the way up so you've got to push all the way down and it did sway to the right to left a little bit, so we've got to push to the left. Look at that. Nice and easy. And just like that, guys, that is really how to control recall. Like I say, it takes a ton of practice. Obviously, you know, I've been playing Apex Legends for a while now. And obviously, I'm no magician. I'm no perfect person for it. But obviously, I know for a fact that I have to warm up. It takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to warm up in order to obviously get myself nice and comfortable and raring to go, obviously, to get myself into the zone and making sure that I am hitting my shots nice and perfectly. And I do seriously recommend, guys, just trying weapons that you're not actually comfortable with because who knows you could actually pick them up in the game and once you actually know how the recall pattern works then you know exactly how you're going to hit your shots nice and perfect if you want to see more content like this and you do actually enjoy content like this as well be sure to subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications that way you never miss out on another video like this i'm also doing a 3000 apex coin giveaway obviously this is going to be going on till the end of august so obviously if you want to win make sure you leave a like subscribe and also tell me in the comment section down below i want to win with your game attack there as well in order to be entered for a chance to win anyway guys my name's been johnny you guys have been fantastic i'm gonna go and play a couple of games of ranked arenas and as always i'll speak to you in the next one take care and peace <laughs>